Hey everyone, what do I got here? Yeah, it is one of our pre-scored keys useful for impressioning. Uh, we have been out of stock on a lot of these for a while because of key supplier changes. And finally, I have a new relationship with, uh, with Kaba Ilko directly to get Schlage blanks and pre-scored keys and all kind of things. Some of them even in SC20. Uh, so, you know, not the C keyway, but the L keyway. Very useful. Uh, not always for impressioning, because impressioning has a lot of torque on the key. Uh, it's best to use the key blank that, you know, is the C or the E or the F or whatever. But if you are using our key cutter guides and, you know, nipping a key, which I recently did uh, somewhere, yeah. So we do occasionally get people who reach out and say, hey, you know, your, your key cutter guides are cool, but I made a key and it, it doesn't, doesn't work. Um, I will say that every time that happens, somebody, if they really want to return it, I always say, send it to me, and I check the printing, and, you know, I make a key, uh, you know, yeah, this is one that I, you can see my little grid lines on, I stamped this out, I cut this out, uh, it was just fine, however, if you, you know, if you're having trouble, I will say, you might be using knockoff leashy nippers. Uh, even if they have the sticker and all that, I mean, China is a hard source. You never really know. The ones on Amazon. There are loads of these on Amazon that they have Mr. Lee's face and everything, and they're not genuine. So if the cutter guides aren't working for you and you're cutting keys and they're not lining up for you, that might be your problem. I am not trying to steer you to the website whose name I dare not speak, but uh, our, our cutters are guaranteed to work with our cutter guides. I can't help you if you're buying shit off other other vendors, but if you do have a uh, you know a pre-scored impressioning key, a key like that, you might say, "Hey, I'd I'd love to do this, but I've never really impressioned a lock. I've never done this. Can you show me a good way to do impressioning?" And that's what this video is about, specifically uh, my eyeballs, uh, because as many of you know, I'll talk about it in a future Q and A. My eyes have been through some shit. My eyes have seen some shit, or rather, not seen some shit. Uh, I've gone through eye surgery. There's a whole thing, but I'm, I am doing much better with my vision. Thank you to everyone who's been asking. But still, uh, peering through a teeny scope magnifier thing, it's, it's not the best. Especially, I I'm kind of done with that whole thing. Which is why, nowadays, when I do impressioning or a lot of forensics, I will use a smartphone. I will use a regular, full-on smartphone with a macro lens on the back. Uh, if you've never seen these, they are very cool, very, very useful. And that is actually, it's what we're even moving people to in class nowadays. Uh, so instead of, you know, I can, I can look right up here and I can say, okay, here's my key versus if I go ahead and look through a macro lens, uh, yeah, I mean, it, this is, this is pretty sweet, man. This is pretty sweet. Let's try some preliminary impressioning and I'll try to capture video here. We'll look through it here and we'll see how this all goes. So getting a preliminary look, we can see, I can even tell that there, there's a handful of slight, you know, blemishes potentially on this second position of the key. So those are not marks yet. Yeah, nice smooth. Now, and you can see these are positions that I have polished. I have done a, this is a standard like machine cut pre-score. And this is hand filed. And again, if <laughs> you'll hear me talking in the background and cursing at the iPhone because I'm not an iPhone person, the camera on an iPhone loves to try to be smarter than you. And there's no way, or maybe there is a way with a third party app to just lock its focus and tell it to stop dicking around. But let's put this in and get a few glimpses at what some impressioning marks might be. We are using uh, the rubber band Hooligan Keys super compact pocket impressioning tool. I'll show you when it's all collapsed up. Gorgeous piece of work by him. Yeah, we've definitely got one little nick in the first position in that first chamber. Second chamber's got something of a mark now, too. Not seeing much in the third position. And I'm testing this just with a three-position, you know, lock, a three-pin lock. Yeah, that first chamber, you get a real, real dent on that one. So, let's do some filing.
There, we've got a one in the first position, and I think we saw a mark in the second position. So now, if we look at our cut surface, beautiful, clean, so beautiful, no marks at all there, haven't touched the third position, first and second position, ready to go for the next round of impressioning. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous, beautiful. Can you see that on my little camera? I'll show you the footage closer later on, but yeah, absolutely. And of course, in this first chamber again, we also have a mark there. Now I wonder, just for fun, how feasible would it be to try to use our cutting guides for impressioning? All right, we were at a one depth in those first couple positions. Let's try a two depth. Ah, I, I hit the shoulder of the, uh, damn, of the, key, of the key gripper. But I can do it in the second position. If I had mounted the key in a slightly different spot, I would have no trouble doing it right here. So a two cut, and I'll hand file a two cut in the first position. All right, so we've got a hand file two and a nipper cut two. Let's see if the nipper is suitable for working with impressioning marks. There's our hand file, beautiful. The nipper might be a little rough. I don't know if that's gonna completely work for us. We'll try it though. Those of you who are curious what, what this padlock is that we're working with, which has a little bit of wiggle in the core, but we'll show you that in a future video. Tool came out with something really remarkable for holding kick cylinders. All right, do we think we have any marks in there? Maybe, let's take a look on the zoom. We might have got our depth in the first position. Not a lot showing up there. Second position, I don't know. The nippers might not be the most optimal for leaving behind a surface that gives you great visuals on cuts and on key impressioning marks. But yeah, how about that macro lens? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Do you folks see that? No real mark in this first position. Second position still marking. And we might, might be starting to see something in the third position. Not quite sure, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a little polish in the third position. And second position, we're definitely gonna take down another cut. All right. Ready for our next round of impressioning. Got a mighty clean key here. How are we doing now? Focus, you bastard. Ooh, again, look at that. Look at that, Mark. Are you seeing this? I'm not hunched over, my eyes aren't killing me. I like this, I like this a lot. I didn't see much on the third position though, let's, let's see. Uh, there's some scrapes out there. It's a little unclear to me. But yeah, let's just keep working that second position. Let's check our marks. And I say, yes, indeed. Second position still marking. And we might have a little something on the third position. Do you all see that? 
with we oscillate through the light? I think we do. First position though, first position still clean. All right, ready for our next check and our next mark. Looking clean, looking good. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Are we good? Ah! Ah! Ha ah. ha! All right, so that's open. And if I'm right, that sounded really scrapey. We should have one or two real moon craters on here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Right there. We were almost there in the third position. Second position looks pretty good. Maybe a little scratch on the way out. But, yeah, do you... Man, God, I love this. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's clean up the key a little. Get some little Tony Montana gold cocaine on the table. And now... Ha-ha! How about that? I very, very likely will never go back to trying to look through a, a teeny scope ever again when we live in a world that a pocket macro lens is, is just this gorgeous. Well, uh, no real surprise to anyone out there, right? Uh, you see me talk about something cool. Chances are I talk about it because I bought a bunch of them to play with them, and I love it. I absolutely love it. That plus a little stand for your smartphone on your desk, that is a winner. Not to mention you could take a bunch of cool photos of stuff like zoomed way in, right? You can zoom in on all kind of funny things, bugs around the garden, U.S. currency, you know, you name it. But yeah, I like it. Um, if if I can get these, and I think I can, you know me. I'll, I don't. Well, I'm not going to mention our site. If they show up on our site, maybe they're there by the time this video comes out. Who the hell knows? Um, the only way I'm going to do it is if I can just as usual, beat the fucking pants off of everyone else, including Amazon. Uh, yeah, we're going to try to get these. Uh, definitely going to put them in Red Team Tools classes, I'll tell you that much. But maybe they'll, you know, maybe they'll be up there for you. I do have the, the two that I bought from two different vendors overseas. They were in different packaging, and they're, they're the exact same product. So this one that I, I haven't even used, that is the giveaway this week. Um, yeah. If you like this, I mean, you know the deal, right? Somewhere, somewhere here or somewhere there. Who, who the hell knows? Somewhere. We're going to have the, the giveaway link. You sign up once, you're good forever. If you would like a you know HD, a smartphone lens of super high quality, uh, if you want to try that out, I fucking love this thing, man. Maybe you win one. If you don't win one, maybe you get one. Uh, maybe you sign up at Red Team Tools. They're going to be in the student kits for everybody. I wish we could put these in the student kits, man. If you want one of these, uh, these are not on, uh, on our site. These are on Hooligan Keys, though. Hooligankeys.com. Uh, it's. I told you I was going to show you this, right? So this is a gorgeous little product here. This large screw, which provides that necessary big torque. If you've ever seen Jos Veus or some of the other champion impressioners, they love having that big side peg. And this stores just kind of down at the bottom, so you can drop this in a tube in your kit or anything like that. The rest of these, all set screws, mercifully all using uh, the exact same hex tool, because no one likes to, it's like a, it's like buying a modern weapon site or something, an optic. They come with like five different hex tools for the four fasteners in the box. Who knows why? But yeah, this is gorgeous. So I kind of just pack this down right like this in one of my field kits now. Uh, I still love my HPC clean grip. Still, still amazing. Uh, virtually impossible to get now. Um, Hudson took over HPC and I, I don't even, they have the tooling. I don't know if they're making these anymore. We don't even have these uh, in class. We have the ones that are in our classroom, but the students, um, yeah, they, they have to use the ones they can't even buy them from us anymore at RTA because these are the last ones left. These, however, half the size, just as useful. Uh, maybe not completely as bomb-proof as this. You can't get a good swing in at somebody at a, you know, in a bar fight. But if all you want to do is impression keys, uh, this, is, this is pretty neat. I'll drop a link to Hooligan Keys below. I don't mind linking to other people's sites. Uh, I just don't link to ours because, uh, you know, what the hell? That's not the direction. I don't like to be a corporate sales guy. But if in the comments, somebody will say, yeah, I want that freaking thing. Where is this site again? And they'll be like, oh, I'm not telling you, but somebody else will. So that's the deal. 
Um, macro lenses, man, they are fun as hell and very useful if you can get your phone to autofocus a nice way. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you were curious, by the way, about the, the tool padlock and how this works, that is a standard uh, kick cylinder right inside of there. Any practice cylinders you get from our kits or others, you can drop them right in here. I'll talk about it in a future video. I'll mention Hypu. Josh did a really good job of working with Packlock. We've, we've worked with Gregory Waugh for a long time. Uh, Packlock made these for us. And yeah, I love it. I love all of these things. I'm so happy. I hope um, everybody's not minded and I'm showing you a lot of new tools and things lately. I'm just thrilled with some of the stuff that's out there and I keep enjoying bringing it to you. All right, have a good time. Stay safe out there.